Okay, so day one of Jeep hunting did not go well, did it, babe? Nope. They had like zero Jeeps. So anyway, now we're heading out to another place that is supposed to have some Jeeps, but they may still have to pull the one that I want from another lot. So we'll have to see what happens today. I don't know, but I may be selling my old Jeep, which is kind of cool and kind of like, oh man, seriously? But, you know, out with the old and with the new. Isn't that what they say? Yep. All right, uh, Except for his let's go. That's right, you gotta keep this one. <laughs> Look at all these Jeeps. This is the green that I want so bad that I won't be able to get. Jeeps, 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 Jeeps. So we found a two door 38. Oh, this is like the higher dollar one that we saw. Is that a stick shift? Oh my god, I'm dying. I have to step out of the kitchen for a minute because the fumes from the jalapenos are just too much for me to take at the moment. And Digger's mad and he's got to yell at Greg, so that's what we're going to go do. You tell him, Dig. Who is that strange person in the shed? What's going on? Greg is see me? dressed to die out here. How you feel? Hot. I got some water in the freezer, so I'll be looking out for you and bring it out to you in a little bit, okay? Yeah, I can probably drop 10 pounds today. Probably drop 10 pounds. You know what your weight is today? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll see. All right, we're going to head back inside because it's hot as hell out here. Okay, so I'm back in the house. I didn't even get a chance to tell you guys what I'm doing today. So I'm taking the jalapenos and I'm sliced slicing them and I'm going to try to pickle them and we're gonna see how that works I've never done this before so it's an experiment <laughs> we're gonna give it a try see what happens so I'm still working on slicing I've got my music going I'm having fun I'm enjoying it's Friday it's the last weekday of my staycation it is quarter to six so we're gonna try to get all this done as quickly as possible because I think Greg and I are going to watch a movie this evening in the uh, basement, but I'm not sure because we've got the basement all set up and everything. Um, so, yeah, so <laughs> that's what we're doing. Let's go. Okay, I think I have a dilemma right now because I don't think that we have enough vinegar. I'm going down in the basement to see if we have any, but I'm not feeling too confident. So... We have our file cabinets here where we keep a lot of our extra stuff. But I'm thinking we probably don't have any. Shoot, that was stupid of me. Nope. Nope. Uh, no, no, no. This is not turning out well. Shoot. All right, Greg just told me he thinks he's got some stashed. So, I'm gonna look. Fingers crossed. Oh. It's not in there. Oh wait, it is. Oh snap. Look at that. See? Greg is the one who keeps this household running, not me. So let's talk. I have so much to say to you guys. Oh my god. Okay, first I'm gonna make some water. So we've got actually let me go get some ice and I'll be right back. Okay, you would think I would want to make jalapeno water, but no, not really. So I got this <coughs> cup <coughs> thingy. Maybe I'll put too much <coughs> ice in here. <coughs> no, I'm good. We can can we make <coughs> this work? <coughs> Hold on. 
make this sucker work. Ah. There we go. Okay, I made it work. All right, so we have that, and we have leftover lime. So I've been drinking some lime water lately. I have limes and lemons, but lime has kind of been my jam. I'm dro dropping everything. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this into... I don't know how many pieces. Let's see. Mm. We're going to... So it's already in half. And then we'll cut it in half. And I'm thinking maybe we'll do one more. So we'll have four pieces that are going to go in here. It's just so simple. Oh my god, the smell of lime, y'all. Love it. Okay. Oh my god, it smells so good. And I'm just dropping it in here. So we have that. We'll fill this sucker up with water. There we go. And what I do with the lid? Oh, here it is. And now I have lime water. This is like my jam. And it acts like a diuretic if I can get the freaking lid on. Why is this not? Why is this not working? There we go. Okay. So, it acts like a diuretic, as I was trying to say. So, when I drink the lime juice, the lime water, it makes me pee like every 20 minutes, which is kind of good because I just need to get my water in. In and out. <laughs> So, that's what I'm doing. I am waiting for the uh, pot to get a boil so we can throw the jalapenos in. I think I have way too many jalapenos though. Like, let me show you. This is everything that I cut up. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but that's like a ridiculous amount of jalapenos. I don't know what I was thinking. So yeah, I'm dealing with that. Then, um, this week, Greg and I went to look at some Jeeps. We went on Wednesday, Thursday, and today and we've had zero luck. So Greg told me on Tuesday that he wants to get me something for our anniversary, 20 years together. He decided that he wants to get me a new Jeep Wrangler. So we've been looking, he wanted to order, a special order a 2019, but 2019's the ordering has cut off and the 2020s are coming up. So we're trying to decide do we want a 2020 or do we want to try to compromise and get a 19. My Jeep is a 2004, very basic, like <laughs> very, very basic. But I do have AC. My first Jeep Wrangler, I did not have AC. So this one at least has AC um, and it has a stereo that Greg put in it and all that good stuff. So last night we put the back seat in, we put all the carpet in. So the first place that we went to on Wednesday, nobody came out to talk to us, but they didn't have any Jeeps anyway. Nothing that we were interested in. The second place had the mojito green Jeep that I want so very badly, but it did not have the extras that I wanted and it was a four cylinder. Greg does not want me to get a four cylinder because I had a four cylinder that was red years ago and even though it's changed he's like no we're not doing four cylinder so we went to a place yesterday and looked and the guy was like really rude like from the jump he did not want to help us it was a bad experience um so we went there and i'm like we're looking for a jeep but a real jeep like a two-door jeep not a four-door jeep because that's how i feel about four-door jeeps <laughs> plus we don't have a family okay it's like me and greg and or greg and i and there's no reason for us to have four doors it's stupid because i don't even have the back seat in the, the jeep i have now well i do now because i had to put it in um so anyway we looked the guy the the tag price was like thirty seven thousand dollars for the jeep that we were like well it's got all the extra stuff that we want digger it's got all the extra stuff we want but it doesn't have the color so we'll go with that and then he goes like oh yeah the sticker price is 37 but once we do all this it's going to be like 46 47 it was like he jacked it up like ten thousand dollars from the sticker price i'm like oh hell no and he says well it's at one of our other lots he didn't even want to tell us that there was more at another lot he's like well it's at one of our other lots but the only way we can bring it here is if you already say that you're going to take it and i'm like um no I don't think so. So Greg and I left and then we ended up going to the other lot today. So we went there and we were like going through this whole like thing. I took it out. I drove it. I almost got into an accident. This woman like drove right in front of me. I was like freaking out a little bit. So we did that. We sat down. We were going through everything. They got our like partial credit scores, but they didn't get that until after we decided to leave. 
because Greg gets it set in his head, I'm going to pay this price and that's it. And I want this much for trade-in, that's it. So out the door, I expect this. And they, they were off by like $3,000 and then they were off by like 2000 something and then they were off by a thousand well we were off by over 2000 and then we Greg's like I'm leaving he's like thanks for your time but no this is not gonna work he's like I have in my head what we're gonna pay we were gonna pay half in cash and then we were gonna finance the other half right so about $20,000 down another 20,000 so it's a $40,000 um, Jeep it wasn't the color I wanted but I could deal with it. It was, you know, kind of cute. I could deal with it. I mean, it is new, so <laughs> I'm spoiled. So anyway, it had all the cool stuff like um, the remote start and the, the keyless start so you don't put a key in. It's just like you press the button and it starts. It has um, the Apple Play and all these buttons. It's got buttons on the front of the steering wheel. It's got buttons on the back of the steering wheel. I've never seen nothing like it. It was insane to me. I was like, this is crazy. But I was like, okay, I'm, I'm digging it. So anyway, we started to walk out and the guy like shouts at us. He's like, we could do it for 41. And Greg's like, nope, 40. We got in the car and we left. Well, we got in my Jeep and left. We're down the road, two, like, not even two minutes later. He sends me a text. He's like, okay, fine, deal. 40000 5000 for trade-in, out, out the door, done, come back. <laughs> Greg's like, nope. <laughs> so we just kept driving. So we didn't get it. So I don't know what Greg's going to do. I don't know if we're going to get a 2019 or a 2020, but he's like, don't worry, I'm going to get you a Jeep, which I know he will. It's his thing. I'm like, you do whatever. So if we get a 2020, then he's probably going to go through the whole process of getting me the mojito green Jeep that I want two door with all the extras. He wants a tow package and he wants a good stereo system and all this stuff. Some of the stuff I could care less about, like I'm like, whatever. But the thing is, it's like, I drive his Toyota, he's gonna drive the Jeep. We want something that, I mean, if we're gonna spend that much money, why not get everything that we want? So, that's kinda like where we're at. Oh my God, that was a whole big ol' ramble. But, I haven't rambled in a long time, so hey. All right, let me check when this is probably boiled in. So let me like do my kitchen stuff. Why did they fall in love? All right, we got the jalapenos in here. I have no clue what I'm doing, but we're gonna give it a go. Okay, I'm not sure how this is actually gonna turn out, but this is the first can. I don't, can you even see that? It looks, the heat in this kitchen is so bad that you can't even see. Okay, can you see that? Okay, this is, this is our first try. I'm trying it with a little jar so I can test them out, but I'm also gonna put them in some big jars. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Cross your fingers. <gasps> Wish me luck. Y'all, I feel like Betty Crocker right now. I went and showed Greg. I'm like, check this out. And he's like, I can smell it. It smells good. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited. I'm going to have to try it. It's going to be so amazing. But I guess I should, it's going to have to go in the fridge and like, you know, marinate for a little bit. And then we'll try it and we'll let you know how it goes. And if it goes well, then I'll share with you what I did. But right now I have not a clue, so <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll do this together. Hey, babe. You know, you're going to have to put a ring on it because I feel very much like domesticated and like I'm wifey material now. Wifey or sister wifey? <laughs> wifey. We don't need nobody now. I know how to make jalapeno pickled jalapenos. Oh god, I was having a hard time. Y'all don't even understand. I think I probably lost like five pounds in snot. Disgusting, I know, but it's the reality of it. 